If you're looking to sponsor the Anything Goes podcast and have your business promoted on this show, you can contact sponsor anything goes at outlook.com or you can call 07584 650 203 for more information. AM Events Glasgow Limited is a family run business that specialises in the creation, planning, and management of events. Whether that be weddings, charity and corporate events, right through to the celebration and party events. We pride ourselves in customer satisfaction and have our clients at the centre of all that we do. Our best boat services allow us to bring your dreams to reality. We offer our services from the smallest of detail to taking on the full event, releasing the worry from our clients and strive on exceeding expectations. Our showroom is open daily. Please pop in to discuss how we can help. Make sure you click the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the notifications button to be notified for when my next podcast goes live. You can also follow me on my social media platforms to find out who my latest guest is. I hope you enjoy this week's episode. Thank you. Boom, we're on. Today's guest, we've got British champion Willie Limit. How are we, brother? I'm James, all right. I'm good. Thanks for coming on the show, first Welcome, of all. Mate. Pleased to be here. How's things? Good, brilliant. Did you say you're finished training? Just finished training about half an hour ago. Here we are, Lawrence and McMurphy. We hammered us again, so... 40 years of age, planning for your next fight in the next four weeks. Yep. How are we feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good, don't know. Uh, Spam with Michael McGuck last week. Michael puts you through it, you know what I mean? So it was a... Right, good, good. It was a good test to see where I was at a mm-hmm. stage. I was happy, and I'm, I'm ready to go now. So the boxing career, how did it all begin for you? Because twenty years in the game now, eh? Twenty years in the game, but I started amateur boxing when I was six. So at the time, back in 1985, with the Gallagher ABC, I forget it. Walked in, John McNair was my coach. Just walked in, that was it. Started for there. My first fight, eleven, the Liverpool, 1990. So I've been in the ring for then. Because you've 45 fights. Your losses have came for former world champions as well. Mm-hmm. There have been big fights, massive fights. Aye. When you, what got you the passion for the boxing? Did you fall in love with it straight away? Or was it a tough one? or It was a weird one. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a way in where, where I stayed. It was quite a rough area. Where did you grow up? Gifamok. Mm-hmm. So I've still in Gifamok now, but mm-hmm. the street we stayed in, I mean, it was, it was, it was all brothers. It was bundles of away and all rolling about and, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. kind of rough and ready. And the boxing kind of put me in the, the right road. Kept you in the straight and narrow. Kept in the straight and narrow, aye. Do you think, think if you never had the boxing? I don't know, I could never see it. A different half course. I mean, who knows? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? I don't know about it, but mm-hmm. I went into boxing uh, and just kind of things happened for then. Good, mate. And obviously, one of the biggest ones was the loss to Amir Khan. Mm-hmm. You put him in his ass. You, you, you cracked him a good few times when he went down. The count was about 13, 14 seconds. Mm-hmm. How were you feeling then? Well, obviously, I seen it unfolding right in front of my eyes. I've never really come out and said this, but it wasn't really the long count. There it was. It wasn't the the fact that it was the fact that the referee stopped counting and told Cam to get up when Cam was still doing it nine. They stopped counting and says, "I seen his horns going get up," and I'm thinking to myself, "Oh yes, this fight's done." And then I seen him went to his glove and going continue, and it kind of derails a wee bit because in my head I'm thinking, if, he, if the referee's doing his job right, Marcus McDonald does his job right, the fight's done the sixth round, mm-hmm. but it doesn't do his job right. And, Fair play to Cannon, he came back and, and he he done the job right, do you know what I mean? Aye. So, just... Do you think that deflated you a bit then? Obviously, I mean, I've trained for a six-year-old and that could be the turning point of your career for you, for you. at the time, well, three kids now, but at the time I had two kids and I'm going, well, this, this could be help set their future, but mm-hmm. it wasn't to be. The golden ticket, basically. The, how did you never get a rematch for that? I don't know what happened. Apparently the rematch was on the cards, but nobody, nobody really... <sighs> I was wanting the rematch. I heard Cam was wanting the rematch, but I heard his promoters wanted to keen on it. Scared, because if he gets beat... I'm not saying they were, it wasn't they were scared, James. I can't say that because mm-hmm. he's got, look at the guys he's fought. The guy he's fought, he's fought better fighters than me, do you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. he's, uh, at that time, I was just made a wee bogey man, and my name wasn't big enough to, to risk again, mm-hmm. because I didn't think it was a hard fight. I fought better guys than Amir Khan. 
but he did get he you know yourself some fighters get fast tracked he was getting fast tracked terry top so if mm. you defeat him 12 fights in then does that that derails his the that, that was i was always up against it it was because you were underdog but you were, you were smoking I, I, I was a, i was a, i was a commonwealth champion at the time mm -hmm. so i was and i knew it was going to be a hard to ask it was in london it was i'm not saying it was any day but it was three english judges an english referee and in heart of london I mean, I can't have that thing coming out the week later, the story so far, I mean, it was all against it. And I knew this, I knew what I signed up for, but as I say, it wasn't it be. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to moan about it, it's just these things. I just want to, as I say, I've, I've never, seen, I've just kind of shrugged my shoulders and gone, mm -hmm. but that was what happened. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. But fair play to you, because you've still fought bigger guys. Who was the Mexican? Oh, Morales. 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 He was, he's only Mexican, it's won four titles in four different weights. Is it, seven? Is it seven? seven? I think. He may have won seven titles, it's but in four different weight I, classes. I, I think it is that. Mm -hmm. he's, he's all Mexican to do that. So he is. Uh -huh. How was that fight? Um, the, the fight, I mean, the whole, it wasn't just the fight. The experience. That was, that was the experience. Like, me and my brother went there. My brother Raymond went there to that. And there was 56,000 at the fight. It was in a board, you know. So it was, and you couldn't, I can't even explain how mm -hmm. it was like. I, I, I couldn't hear the MC say my name the night because of the noise. And when my eyes came out, I actually felt the place kind of shake with mm -hmm. the noise. It was the noise was unbelievable. It was just surreal. Take some boys, but to get into the Mexican backyard to the Mexicans. It was here by Centennial uh -huh. uh, Year Ind Independence. It turned to Year Independence, mm -hmm. and that was. Be shitting yourself. No, I loved it. I thrive mm -hmm. on that sort of stuff. I, 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 one thing I'll do. That's easier if I could farm look, but <laughs> I've, I've never, I've, I've never shot the fight. I've never said no uh -huh. to a fight. The only reason I've maybe said no to a fight for money is no mean right. Mm -hmm. But when I asked to do I fight Eric Miraz, the, the thing about this one is right, they do this. I broke my horn. I started training with a broken horn for the Miraz fight. Two weeks into camp, I couldn't get a punch. I, I was hiding. I had a stuke in my horn that lasted a white fight. I cut the stuke off without doing sign the contracts. I couldn't even sign my name on the contracts, but. I wasn't, there was no way I wasn't taking that fight. Aye. We went to Mexico City and I've never seen it in my life. Honestly, the people are brilliant, the Mexican people. I still keep in contact with Eric Morales mm -hmm. now. He's trainer, Raul Robles, and he's all da. You know what I mean? We, we hold a burrito as he's this, he gets called. Uh -huh. But I mean, it's all the boys, everybody are there. They, they love their fight game and they love the fighters. They're brilliant to us, treat it as well. Obviously, didn't get the right result, but just to share the thing with that guy. Aye. You know what I mean? To even go there and and to, pl to be fighting in front of near enough 60,000 is a is a dream come true. You would take that any day starting off your so, boxing career. I suffice, I want to be involved mm -hmm. in it. I'm back here. Morales got me, I was, I was meant to sign me Morales. Mm -hmm. Because I was ahead in the scorecards when it, it caused a couple of body shots with a, with a pit hole in the side of the house. Do you know what I mean? It was, mm -hmm. it, he's, listen, he's been at the top of the game. Mm -hmm. He's a legend. He's, he's by the immortals, they call him. Do you know what I mean? He's, this guy is right up there. Mm -hmm. So, I was in the fight, but the altitude kind of caught up with us and I just couldn't breathe. He was kind of, I got in well with him and he was impressed with mm -hmm. the fight and he invited me and I was there for maybe there for good, isn't Because you're very well respected, mate. Everybody kind of loves you. When I was putting posts up about you, was, everybody was buzzing that you were coming aye, on. You're a very aye. well respected guy. How was the training camp for that fight I mean, in Mexico? Was, Did you train all there to get no, used well, to the... That was the thing. We went there for a week before it. it was, the money wasn't great for the fight. It was, it was in, the fight was in Vegas. We're laughing, but it wasn't. It was in Mexico City where, I mean, the ticket price was like $2, $3. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah, no, that's what it's yeah, like, yeah, isn't it? Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's, a very, it's a very kind of humble place. Mm -hmm. I see people are all brilliant in that. So it wasn't, but it was on pay per view. I said I fought for nothing. It wasn't matter. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going there for the money. We know we what the money took half us. We don't know. Right. How? In the airport coming home. Think they're smugglers. Scottish no, boys coming me, through a Mexican me airport. Brother, me and my brother Raymond, Peter Harrison, and Stevie, who had. Equal amount of money on us because they paid us and the dollars. We made money transferred to a bank, but it was around bank account mm. number we got sent here. So we <laughs> right, so could so we paid in twenty dollar bills <laughs> and they've, they've clocked it in the pocket. They've took us into a room and they've, a table. Us they've just put our money at the table. Where did you get that money for? I'm like my brother got a hat. Ta 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 ta. ta that's away. He says, eh, "I went. I boxed one of your fighters last night, Eric Morales, and this wee guy just leaned back a chair." And looked at me and they went, I swear I'll fight. And just piled their money back up and gave my dope. That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, they could have took that and there's nothing Aye. they could have done. Not even Because they'll shit. be on buttons all there. They'll be getting they, pennies. They gave me every penny back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, it was a close one there. But fair play to them, they gave it all back. Do you know what I mean? It's good, isn't it? So, obviously, you've had a great career. You're trying to get things back on track. You've mm -hmm. just says you want to fight five more times. Mm -hmm. So... 
Who do, you, who do you want in the pipeline? Who do you want to fight next? I've seen Wien Wilson, so I've seen Andrew Sporting Club. Ian's, I've known him for years, good pals, Wien, and he, he knows, and he's seen as a gym that, and he knows that I'm still, uh, the last two weeks I feel as I've been firing all cylinders, there's no end there I wouldn't fight, now there is. Obviously there's guys in my way, there's fights that could have maybe happened and never happened. The fight obviously with Ricky Burns might have happened, uh, but we're at different weights, Ricky was wanting to move down a weight, and, and I was staying at the weight I was at. Uh, there was a few things kind of said, but nothing materialised. So obviously, there's, there's a lot of as I said, I've never, not once in my life have I said no to a fight. Mm-hmm. Does it, um, have you still got the hunger for it then? You 100%, must have. 100%. 100%. My two boys do the box. That's what got me back in. I think my two boys were doing the boxing with Dennis McNair, mm-hmm. Jake and Drew, and they're doing well. So I'm up and helping the boys in for a note. They've sucked it back in. <laughs> for they getting fights again. Sucked it right back in. You've so, had, but you've been Commonwealth champion, British champion. Aye. You've had so many belts. Many belts you won? Seven, seven eight. Seven belts. Eight, seven. Aye. Which is phenomenal. You would take that any any time of your career as well. See, bonus James, I've been a part-time boxer. Mm-hmm. I still worked as a joiner on the bowling sites. Do you know what I mean? I, I took maybe some four or five weeks after train. But I've never had... I've had some good sponsorships like Morton's Roll, Site Services and that, they've done well. Back to you. Back to when I was when I was kinda of in the big fights. But it started off uh twenty year old when I had my first pro mm-hmm. fight in the hotel where you're getting five hundred quid a fight. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's what you're getting. How hard, how hard does it to make a living for the boxing game? As I say, I've always had to work. Do you know what I mean? I've never been cons- when my career was going good, there was maybe a few times when injuries happened or fights got postponed and there was, there was a time where there was a wee bit of momentum gathering, but it never, and, but they can, when I won the Commonwealth title, when I won the British title, sorry, I was meant to fight Derocco for the European title, and it never materialised, he ended up fighting Ricky Burns for the, the world title, mm-hmm. but, I mean, just things like that, if I fight Derocco, beat Derocco, then, mm-hmm. you get a shot at Ricky, now things like uh, that, it just opens up, just a bit of luck as well, isn't it? It's a bit of good luck, but it's, it's, it's just the way this game, this mm-hmm. game, but, can I, I mean, Would you think of the state of affairs the new in the boxing game? Even the the heavyweight game, it's a bit fucked on it. None of the big fighters want to fight each other. Do you think money's taking all that a bit? Listen, I see any box that gets good money, I take my half to them. See mm-hmm. how they get the big fights. Fair play because I, I've been in this game for fair was like, uh, six. six year old. Do you know what I mean? I've been in this game for thirty four years, and after all right in the boxing. So I have there's times when I've no times when it's been you're, you're training. For, I mean there's. It's three fights in all this arm, training for eight weeks, five falls through, don't get paid. Two two weeks later you go again, eight weeks train, falls through, this arm three times. Mm-hmm. Before you know it, before you know it, you've, 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 you've just trained for I mean, 20, 24 weeks and no made, no made a penny. Mm-hmm. So see any fighter, fair play to them for, for a bit of their mate if they get good money. Aye, good. Would you think uh, any Scottish boys coming through now? A few crackers in it. Big boy Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor's very good. I mean, Josh would actually go me and Josh were on a uh, talk to each other through Messenger. Mm-hmm. He was telling me, this was, was a couple of years ago, so I've only come up for my 20th year, Josh, and we like, why don't we get a fight? Well, uh, the, the, the wild old fox, you're a young lion. <laughs> I went, mean, what's that then? Uh-huh. That's, that's good. Mm-hmm. Listen, I know I'll be right up against it with Josh, not mean mm-hmm. this, but again, I wouldn't say no to it. This time, this time Josh uh-huh. wasn't where he is now. Uh-huh. This is a couple of years back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but again, never materialised. I, I, I sent a message, I said, have you spoke to him again yet? He's like, nah, well, I've not spoke to him. I was like, okay. <laughs> but, Shade back. <laughs> like Shattered for you, so he has. <laughs> I believe right. Josh, Josh, he's, he's something special. He's flying, isn't he? He's, he's going to be very good. world champion. Oh, I believe he could he could unify the belts uh, in, this, I believe. in this World Series. Mm-hmm. Boys, and do you know what? He's, he's, he's a cracking boy. He's, he's sound, a street guy. Mm-hmm. Well, I, he put a kettle on for him do you know what I mean sounds decent man and Aye, sound. I watched his last fight and he's, he's phenomenal he can, he's just got that something where you can tell he's going to be he could potentially be a great oh definitely I mean he's all had he's had, had, had many fights had Aye. Not, not many not many double fights not even like double fights I think he's moved just into that but Aye. I actually feel quite ignorant that I don't know Aye. the boys' record. No, as he's just kind of started that. Well, I know he's still novice mm-hmm. level, Aye. but he's beating all the best. So he, was the, he was at the hydro that there. Aye. He was flying, but good luck to him, man. Aye, and anybody, but what do you think of the Scottish boys coming through? Are we See, anybody a, else? A few, a few good ones. I mean, we've, we've got a, right, there's MTK's got a show, and there's a few cracking fights from it. You've got mm-hmm. Michael Guts fighting Keon Smith. Right. That's two undefeated. I used to manage the two boys. Mm-hmm. So. The two boys are fighting each other, they're roughly 14, 15 and 0. Okay, I think you've got Scott Allen fighting the boy for Edinburgh. Uh, Lee McGregor, mm-hmm. for, school, for Lee McGregor's Commonwealth belt. So there's a few good fights coming through, a few Scottish matchups. That's what's going to happen. Scottish boys are going to start fighting Scottish boys. Mm-hmm. Because what I remember is being in Mexico when I was there, there, there was a guy who had like 21 wins, 7 defeats, and he won a world title. Earlier, they don't really worry about defeats. Mm-hmm. 
we've got a thing here when we get get a defeat. Oh, it's, it's over. Panic state, and it's no. Mm. It's just no matter. That's what happens. Two sides to this game, winning mm. and losing. You just want more wins and losses. Uh, of mean? course, it's the, but how you get up for the defeats? It's how you react to them. And I think people say it. You hear all the top trainers say it. A true champion's made when. They come back. He, chased, he, he, he tastes defeat and comes right. back for that and becomes champion again. Mm -hmm. You see guys like uh, Tyson Fury, I love that story for him, hitting rock bottom, tasting defeat, and uh, for personal reasons, not Aye. through in the ring, and he's come back for that and, and fucking got himself back in track again. Back big man with some character, isn't he? Aye. Big Tyson Aye. Fury. I could actually sit and listen to him all day. Aye. I think he's part of the And that shows, and that's a sign of a champion. Of course. How hard is it for you to how hard is it for you to hang up the gloves? Do you think you ever hang them up? No, I, I, I mean they get retired. <laughs> oh, no, it's you know something is when I fought I fought Tyrone Nurse. I fought Tyrone Nurse uh, when I won the British title, I never lost the British title. I had to relinquish it because mm -hmm. I got told that I had damaged my shoulder and they says if you don't defend it, we're going to take it off you. Right? That's what I got told. So give my give the belt up, done a deal with the hand, give the belt up. Big Tyrone fought Chris Jenkins, I think it was for it. So Tyrone was a champion. Then the deal was obviously fight Tyrone. I didn't have for about an argument in the hall for me. I was going to be a Zimmer frame, I was that old. <laughs> so I fought Big Tyrone again, and the big man he beat me on the right. So it was, I, I ran out of gas, if I'm mm. honest. We didn't have the best training camp. I'm not going to make excuses. He was better than me that yeah. night, and, and he won the fight. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I didn't bring my belt back. I had enough fight after it, and I won. So How's the, how is your how is a how is a boxing camp? How tough is that? Because you've just told me the day you're training three times. Three times. I'm up at half four. I, do my, I need to do my half four in the morning. Mm -hmm. run. If I don't do that run in the morning, my day fucked. It doesn't. It just doesn't go as planned. Mm -hmm. So that's my that's my ritual. That's my need day. It's, so it's basically a couple of half four in the morning. I'll do my five and a half, six and a half mile. Whatever it is, whatever I feel like. Sometimes you're out and you feel tired. So you don't do a five mile, mm -hmm. and other times you feel good. You do a bit extra. Then I'm back in the gym at 10 in the morning with Lawrence Mike Murphy, and then at night I'm with George Fleming up at the Acropolis graveyard. That is brutal. Hull so it's, it's just hull, stairs, press ups, dent with your weights, ankle weights, horn weight, you name it. It's all fashion training, but I, I'm, a, I'm old school. So mm -hmm. I like all this training, I don't like mm -hmm. all your machines. And fancy gyms and nah, uh, the I'll bullshit. Go, I'll go, I mean, we've got a good gym, don't get me wrong, we train at the Fighting Scots gym in Bells Hall. Mm -hmm. It's a cracking gym, it's got everything you need to get fit, but I like the old gyms. I, I don't, need, I, don't, I don't use any machines. How are you getting, what weight are you think that? This one's going to be 10.7. Because well, you've moved up every moved time, up haven't you? For 9.4 to 9.9 to 10 stone to 10.7. What weight yet the now? 10.8. <laughs> how, how hard is it to get it off? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, right? This is a, as you get older, I'm still training the same intensity, right? I'm still doing it, and I am, mm -hmm. I'm still doing what I can do. But she getting us weight off us. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that metabolism? My mouth last year, she was sitting next to me with a plate of dinner, bigger than what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's happening here? <laughs> just the way it is. Is it, is it hard? I, I just have wee small meals, maybe four, three, four times a day. So I mean, I mean, I say small, I mean, <laughs> three spoon <spoonfuls>. feeds. <laughs> oh. done. But that's what you've got to do. It's a discipline. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You, love, you clearly love it. You didn't, I do love it. I do love a game. I just see, I'm not, I'm a, my two boys to go into it. If, if you I know, did, just yeah. would you you gonna you gonna focus on them after your next five no, fights? Listen, I'm just letting them play it. You know, mm -hmm. I, I know it's a lonely career. It's a lonely sport. You're in there yourself. I've got a team that's helped you train, but see now, Bell goes. Mm -hmm. It's the worst place in the world when you're tired. Mm -hmm. So as you, you go, so I, so I can, all I can do is advise them on certain things. Do you know what I mean? I can't. I would never. If, if they turn to me tomorrow and say, "Go to play football," see when you go. How tiring is that in there? What, what rounds do you really go, I'm, I'm fucked here? Round four. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Some fights, when I fought Woodhouse, when I fought Woodhouse, I trained for 14 weeks for the Woodhouse mm -hmm. fight. So I did, and I remember, on back after a round, I just put, I put, Woodhouse my pal, right? Mm -hmm. Me and him going well, so we did, I've caught him in the 11th round, and I remember going to myself, I'm glad, because I wasn't sure the fight was going. One of the, the judges, I mean, go see his name, he knows who he is. Mm. He scored at a draw. Mm -hmm. So he did. <laughs> what that? Again, they'll see his name here, but it's just why he found He's called it how he's seen it. Uh -huh. But after I put him down for him, I feel, because I went by it and I was, I felt tired. I was really mm -hmm. tired and going to come out for the 12th round. But see, being fit, it doesn't mean you don't get tired. It means you get through it. Mm -hmm. Get through it. 
even when you're drained, you still you're ready to go again. Get your minutes. Is rest. that the mental side? Of it? Ah, of course. To come down to play because it's, it's not just a case of the fitness stuff. It is the mental side mm. away for your family and that as well. If you've got free wins and away to training camps, Aye. is that the difficult part? The lonely journey that comes I, with. I like training in Glasgow, so mm -hmm. I'm I'm born and bred here. I I've been to training camps abroad. Now you know what? Give me the, the gym with training, the camps with holes, the necropolis. I'm happy. Uh -huh. So I don't I don't I don't need big fancy training camps. But I've got a lot of good fighters here that we get the sparring for. I mean, loads of good fighters. You don't we don't need to get spars for. We don't need to bring fighters in because there's that many good fighters. And obviously, I'm part of a lot of fighters, so if I need to fight a southpaw or play people want to help, mm -hmm. I'm the same. If I can help them, I do the same with them, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? So I think that's the way it should be. Everybody should be us. helping each other. Do you think people should get, people are getting through, more into the deep end though, people that's not been through the ranks to get title fights are going pro too early? Because I, who was it? I had on and somebody was saying that boys are going in too early for pro fights and try to get a pro license and have only fought maybe five or six See, a lot amateur of, fights. You've got the big guy, big, what's his name for, big, big uh, English guy, he fought to was it Dylan White? Aye. He only had something like five or six amateur fights. Mm -hmm. Scott Harrison had 20 odd fights as an amateur. That works, the guys, they're, 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 what for Scott? Scott wasn't he? Scott was suited to the programme. Scott was a hardened pro fight for his mm -hmm. first fight, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So was, they've got other boys, they need to come through the ranks. I think if you can become, if you can win a few things at amateur, be a right successful amateur, then, then you can get a blank check, you mm -hmm. put your number on that. Mm -hmm. That's what the good thing is. But, uh, of course, people do turn pro to early, people get in the ring fights. What weight Scott Harrison? Scott, I don't, Scott's, I think he's lightweight and he's still nine. Because he's trying to get his licence into it back. It's a liberty swap, it's a moral. It is, isn't it? It's he, fucking he, bad. The guy's been through them all. Mm -hmm. So he's, 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 paid, he's paid his dues, he's earned and there again. And I don't know what, I don't know the, the full story, but to me, looking in, it's, it should get his license back. Well, you percent and get the guy's life back. Because but again, I don't know the story, but aye. I just think he's been through them all. Aye. I mean, he's paid his dues, I think. he's fucking, how, how many exciting times? How many times seen he in the ring putting, know, putting his Putting the graft in, aye. I mean, and his, the, it's the personal things, again, that coming back for that, getting himself fit again and wanting to fight, it's his well, life. He's training, he's training hard now. Aye, aye, I've seen he's, that. He's training hard now. Scott's training hard. I mean, Scott, we've been our gym mates uh -huh. for years. We've sparred thousands of rounds. Mm -hmm. Scott's That's a great guy. I want Scott's coming on the podcast actually. He's uh, he? I just a great guy and I, um I want him to do well, I want him to get a fight and mm -hmm. he deserves it because there's guys out there that's getting failed drug tests and they're getting a license back after six months and, and stuff like that. Scott's just wanting to fight again. I it's know. in his blood. He's wanting to fight, he's wanting to support his family, give the guy a fucking that's break. That's it. Let, let him let him earn mm -hmm. some money. Let Aye. him support as you say. Follow the fridge, pay the ball, support his family, innit? Uh huh. Could you not get a fight? He's got to been pals for years, do you know what I mean? But is it difficult? Is it difficult to fight pals? No, I fought Crawler, Crawler, I mean Crawler, good pals. Mm -hmm. So I fought him. I mean, he battered me. <laughs> Who needs enemies? <laughs> do you know what I'm how does that? How does that in your mind when you're going to fight a pal? How is you know it something? a it job? Was, it was it was a weird way I walked out. So we walk out. Crawler stayed in my house. He stayed. He came up. He came up to help me spar. He was he was staying. He was, he was a fighting, I can't remember, he stayed in my house, he was mm. up here sparring, sparring with Ricky Burns in fact, so I've let him stay in my house, and I was taking all his runs and that, just, I was doing that to kind of help Ricky out there, mm. I get to know, get to know Crawler, Crawler's a cracking boy, and I walked out, walked out for the first round, and I threw a jab, I went, I have nothing tonight, I just knew I had nothing there, I hadn't made that weight in six years or something, I had to make it at nine stone nine, Cross bouncing about buzzing man. I fought my job and he just kinda of walked right through and I went, ah, so it's a hard twelve mm -hmm. rounds, aren't I? I just mm -hmm. had to just take my medicine, I suppose. Right, right. And take it, it. Was a, it was a bad day at the office, but you but, can't go on my way home, mm. do you know what I mean? Go to take what he was gain. But he's another he's another great fighter that's he's had a great career as well. He's, he's last fight against Lomachenko. Mm -hmm. So it's even to get up to that level and fight the kind mm -hmm. of guys. You know what I mean? He's a fighter, isn't he? Well, he's something else. I mean, he's, he's, he's an acrobat. He's, mm -hmm. he's why he suck his performance or something. But was in, he was no dan dan he was not a dancer and all that shit back in the day. He's just... He's right like a dance classes and... This guy's... This trait, he's, he's a different breed. Aye. Do you know what I mean? I know it was some fight that for, for a wee man to get that, wasn't it? Of course it was. I hope he'll play well for him. I hope will play well for him. My boy Jake, text him. Three years before the fight. Now, Crawler, he's going to the biggest fight of his life. My boy Jake sends him a text. All the best tonight, Anthony. Do you know you go back to him before the fight? Thanks, Jake. Text you after it. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I just used the class of the guy. To even, to even take time out to text a wee boy back, mm -hmm. which I think was, I mean, 
That's my respect for yourself as well, of isn't it? Of course, but even just to, even just mm-hmm. to answer back. Mm-hmm. No, she never answered me back. <laughs> <laughs> she never answered me. <laughs> so, no, that was, for him to do that, I mean, I'd take my half to Croatia. That's, that's top marks. So mm-hmm. was for, for ah, good, like mate. That. Who did you look up to as a boxer? Who was your idol? Eric Mraz. Was it? I'm going to believe it. I'm Mraz. Fucking hell. I watched him. I used to go up in the morning and watch him Brera. Brera fighting Mraz. I always liked Mraz. So I did. Then, so that's what I'm saying when I got... I forget, I was sitting in Coyers, my wee brother, Raymond, when the phone goes. Mm. I, I, I answered the phone, big Alec, my, my manager, big Alec Morrison, says, I, I honestly thought he was, he was at it. Mm. He says, do you want to fight Eric Morales? I went, I didn't want to He went, no, I'm serious, do you want to? I says, I've walked outside to the phone call, I've mm. came back in, and I've been like, my brother, who do you think? I've just been asked to fight you. My brother will like me, Eric Morales. He never knew, he never mm. heard the phone call. I went, aye. And he's going, no, he's doing, because he's doing wheels in yeah. or something, doing some sort of promotion for a mm-hmm. film. And that was how the Mirage saga. That's brilliant, isn't it? I was, I was what it was. And then my brother didn't at me, but you got to do it that, because I had a broken horn. Mm-hmm. I went, I remember getting up that night and cutting it off with a bread knife. I cut the stuke off. Did you have a stuke on? I had a stuke on to cut the stuke off. Because I can't actually go up to sign off contract with uh-huh. a stuke on and go, ah, oh, cheese. No, so that was it. Did you have to pretend that you're, you were. Up to fit. It was brand new, so I'd hit my heavy bag, not and I was going every time I was hitting this bag, Peter Harrison's going at me. Are you are you oh. alright? I'm going, I Peter just my shoot I've seen my shoot was so good, my shoot my own. So that was that. But that's what, what dreams are made, aren't they? I that was I know that's just I say that was you you, you couldn't write that. Mm-hmm. So you couldn't write what happened that that was every day something new was happening. They done a press conference for instance, right? They're so laid back the Mexicans, they come up to the door. Chap the door. There's a Celtic player playing for Celtic at the time, and he's more and brother chap my room door. Now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a genuine party Fistle fan. Mm-hmm. My wee brother, my wee brother Kevin Raymond, my two boys, they had, they had season books. I was looking for all my belts and that. So I'm a genuine Fistle fan, right? And she asked me where they walk at the 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 ring with a Celtic strip on. Uh-huh. I do so I had to explain what I couldn't I couldn't do a Celtic mm-hmm. or a Rangers strip Aye. because I went for the, one. Mm-hmm. A lot of my people the vibes see me everybody done it and know what and I, and I don't bother about. I'm mm-hmm. right off Steve football and I, I don't even keep track mm-hmm. so I used to play football pro mm-hmm. for Albion Rovers oh did you? So I, I was with Albion Rovers oh, yeah. back in the day oh, yeah, aye, yeah. Aye. Wait, wait, wait. in fact uh, we Sylvester well, we Chris, uh, uh, Chris messaged us a couple yeah. of days ago aye. so we did an aye Chris messaged because me and Chris fought his amateurs didn't uh-huh. he? So yeah, one each, that was, uh-huh. that was, me and I had two balls, we Chris was, Chris some, Chris was, was some, fat as fuck. He's some fighter, so he's some uh, good he's some fighter, I know, I've Aye. seen uh, the Albion Overs training, just lapping everybody, Aye. still fit to this day. It's a big still... pal, uh, James Dalzell, I used to work in the, I think they used to work in the, the trains together, the, uh, up in, I don't know where they worked man, but he used to say that, I uh, still fit, still training. I was there, I was, I was 17, I was in the, uh-huh. I got in the first team that, could you believe it, I was playing for Tower Hearts. One one weekend, my pals, yeah. a Sunday team, and then all of a sudden playing for Alvin Rose, getting toasting at me, she had to do that. We signed a contract, we were on like fucking 59 or 69 quid a week through there. So I was getting 50 quid a week. shocking, so I was, man. But I, I mean, at the time, I was a apprentice junior, so that's what we were getting in. I was Aye. getting, so my wages were doubled, and see, we got a win. You got an appearance bonus and a win bonus, and plus your 50 quid. I was getting 150 quid a week because mm-hmm. the first four games I played with one. It's mad, isn't it? Was then, Ah, uh, Chris is a great guy. Then the movement, he's not a good guy. <laughs> Stick to the boxing. <laughs> cool, that was it. What's your best ever fight then? It's going to be a Woodhouse fight, innit? Mm-hmm. Because, as I say, I fought Arthur for the British title. I beat Arthur Arthur. I just didn't... My two previous British title fights I never performed against Arthur and against Crawler. And after the night I fought him, he was, was on fire, he was good, and I didn't have the best nights. Mm-hmm. And Arthur got against Crawler. He says, I've been up against two good, so I fought Woodhouse, who was a British champion at the time, I was a Commonwealth champion, so two's put our belts line, and obviously I won that fight, but that was one of my best fights, I best, because 35, 36 I think at the time, mm-hmm. so it was good to get that performance, it was a hard 12 rounds, and I just kept the same, in fact mm-hmm. for round six, I stepped up, which was good. How did you not kick on for that then, when you won that, get a so couple I of was, decent fights, what happened? Yeah, I, was, I was hoping to get the, I was hoping to get the European title fight with Dorocco, uh-huh. and Eddie Hearn tried to get us a fight, but they all never wanted the fight. Mm-hmm. Just didn't want it. So she says, I always believe my name wasn't big enough to for these guys to risk it. But they knew anybody knows that for fighting they're, they're in for a hard night. Aye. Win or lose, it's going to be a hard night, no matter what. And he just obviously we had what they could have fought Ricky Burns for the WBA title. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Which would happened and obviously he's getting more money for that and Ricky dusted him. You know what I mean? Why is it when a fighter loses, maybe it's a 
their first loss and they're only 30 31, people should say they should retire, they should hang up I their gloves. Ra, what is all that? I ra, I be, is I that just bad press? No, nah, it's just when I fought Crawler. I mean, it was probably why I don't want to take any credit away for Crawler. I was terrible, I no terrible. I just, I bad just, have, I just, Crawler was good, and I wasn't mm. good, and I right. And after the fight, is you should chuck it, you should this, you should that. And then, same, same, it was with Tommy Gilmore at that time. Then I fought Eddie Doyle for the Commonwealth, so that Eddie was undefeated. And I was kind of Eddie's kind of upcoming, I'm on the slide kind of thing, but I went out again. I hate talking about these guys because I'm probably one of the guys, but the fight lasted a minute and a half. I won the fight, I just went out, I was fired up because I had all this bad, all, this, all these people saying, You're finished, chuck this, chuck that, don't do this. And I'm going, I'm going to forget how to play it, how to do this game in mm -hmm. a weekend, you know what I mean? I'm doing it for a six year old, right. it was a bad night I had, and I'll prove it's a bad night. How do you deal with that then, the negative press? Off. I'm, I'm very good at switching off. Mm -hmm. So I just calm my mind and just go on with what I've got today. That's it. Because you look at guys like Pacquiao when that, they're in their 40s and he, they were telling him to retire 55, six years ago mm -hmm. and he's, he's on fire again. Still doing it, I know. He's so, on fire again. I just, I think, I believe, right, that's what I do believe. See, the minute you start acting old, you start getting old. Million percent. See, I'm still training three times, mm -hmm. a, three times a day and the training with Mick and Morris Muff, right, I'm always joking, it's, it's so we're gruesome. <laughs> I mean, Mike McGup was in the day where we weights punching for like 25 mm -hmm. minutes, right? And I could have stopped laughing. I'm going, I'm hitting the bike, I'm having an easier day today. It was it's not a hard session, but it was mm -hmm. easier than Michael's day. And I'm still laughing, going, <laughs> get up, you boy. <laughs> Where's the ultimate place for you then in Scotland to fight? Where do you want to finish well, it? I fought in the, I fought in a good place. I fought in O2, uh -huh. I fought in the Hydro, I fought, I fought in, in Mexico. I fought in Mexico, but one is. I see why my I see my regret in boxing. For how? No, no, I'd love to have fought in for how, but I got off to fight Madison Square Garden on the Joe Kozagi, Roy Jones Jr. undercard. I was to fight a boy called Dimitri Sita. I was moving up and wait to fight him. I says I they sent the contract there and the contract was terrible. We sent it back, they sent another one there, which was even worse. And I was just advised not to sign it. And I'm going, I don't care, it's a fight, Madison Square mm -hmm. Garden. Sign anything, let me I want to fight. Barry Hughes, my manager at the time, Barry got me to fight. And they're just advised by the lawyers, listen, you can't sign this contract. Why? They've got, they've got you always. There was some sort of loophole in it. If you didn't, they could say they're getting you a million quid for your next fight. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't get that fight for 90 days, it was non void, but you're still tied to them. Aye. Kind of thing, something like that. But if I beat Salita, my next fight was against Zab Judah. So it was, the name was up there, but mm -hmm. and that fight never, never materialised. And that, and that to this day, Oh, you? That's what's in it. That's what's in that can fight. <laughs> <laughs> so well, big pal, uh, big Jay Carrigan, uh, uh, big heavyweight. He was all right, fighting at eighteen, nineteen. He was training me. He was training once that day. Big Jay. He was all right. I think he was eighteen, nineteen when all there. Aye. So got, I remember he had, his, he had a fight there. Ah, uh, watched it. Should have won it. Should have fucking won it. I think it was four rounds or something. Aye, uh, four rounds. Aye, it's uh, aye, but it's possible. The mindset, mate. We spoke before and before it's been started and you believe that you can get another title. Of course. I mean, I, give me another victory and I'm back in the top 10 and, mm -hmm. and so I've still got a half decent name which people say it's a good stepping stone but stepping stones are slidey. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's what can and all that for and you fucking shook or aim. Do you know, I know what I mean? I know it's, do you know something that they can fight is the rights, I, it, it was, it was, he was only, I cannot come at the time, as I say, it wasn't a hard fight. How? It wasn't hard at all. And I switched off for a couple of seconds, mm -hmm. and they caught me. How, how, uh, that's a lot of people touch on for you. Does, have you ever spoke to Can? Uh -huh, I see after him, that, I seen him a couple of years ago. That's the first I've seen him for the fight. The uh, doing it the Callum Smith, Callum Smith is fighting doing Liverpool. I can't remember who's fighting. I think he's fighting another big scouser a boy. Don't mean a big Callum is fighting because big Callum's up with Cross staying in my house mm -hmm. when they were up here training. So I've been doing watch them and Jimmy Moore. Big Bellew, Big Tony Bell, he's like, ah, and I've seen him. He's like, oh, I was like, you give me that rematch. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, obviously, the Alex Affer fight, I know, Brahid Arena, Aye. massive British title. Well, that, was, that was full, that was, that was so much for that mm -hmm. night. So, it was, remember that fight, walked out, that was at the time, I mean, that's how long ago this fight was. They still had horse hair in the gloves, I've got the gloves in the house, it's like horse hair in them. Uh -huh. There's eight ounce horse hair. Alex Affer hit me with a jab, and I feel as I've been hit with a brick. I went, what was that? He just hit me with it. It was a solid left jab. I went, and it was a wake up call. I went, I'm, I just wasn't ready for that level at mm -hmm. that time. Neither was Alex Arthur, was, he developed a bit quicker than me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We had a few spells after, but you know what I mean? It was, it was a different story. Aye. 
Would you have wanted a rematch for that? Of course. Listen, you know, we, we, became, we became quite pally until I put on his Instagram all day and beat me. <laughs> I said, my test when he knew. You. <laughs> Dirty you know bastard. About? You don't talk to me then put the things up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Does it? Because um, you've got quite good nature about you. You've got quite good nature about it. You've no got any grievances right, or any grudges. Be, be bad one because I would beat fair square after guys. The guys, I mean, I've given it forty the defeats to other mm -hmm. people. You know what I mean? I've given it forty. The I've had it five times, so I've been quite been quite fortunate as I've had quite a good career. I thought I couldn't. You couldn't tell. I don't know any other Scottish fighter that's fought in front of nearly sixty thousand fans. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? want to say you've had a good career. I say you've had a great career. You've well, always it's been based on it was done in, it was done in a shoe string. Aye, for so a, a nothing... boy figure farm look and Aye. just you, you know myself, these schemes are they're fucking difficult to do in with your mm -hmm. life and it goes for anybody watching or listening that you can achieve it and it doesn't course. matter if the, the people who have defeated you have been former world champions, Aye. have won world championship belts, there's no fucking mugs. It's not no. as if you're fighting some Joe Blogs and the No, no. Do you know, know what I mean? So you've got to give yourself massive credit. It's I, I, I do you want know to I probably don't give myself, I just uh -huh. look at it. Because oh, you wanted mayor, because you believe I always aimed high. Aye. So I did. See, mm -hmm. the Morales fight, I'm going to, to beat him. See, the can fight, I'm beating him. Mm -hmm. See, the Arthur fight, I'm thinking I'm going to win that as well. Obviously, Ryan, all the occasions. <laughs> but, I mean, I know, but for, was, for, a, for a small percentage, then you would take that any day of the week. Of course. I, I don't think, even now, if I'm going against somebody, I don't think they're going to beat me. Mm -hmm. I think I'm there to win. So, I'm a, as I say, there's times you are proven Ryan, but. Mm -hmm. I, it's not going to de it doesn't dent my my determination I, I never know when I'm beat there's mm -hmm. times in the Tyron Nurse fight so I, never, I never forget it Tyron Nurse fight you see me walking back to the corner where Jim Walk goes that's a long walk right because I look look Fucked. terrible I've been up with a motor right? <laughs> oh it's always bad right I walk back and I'm going going right, right, right round nine I says I'll, I'll try and just get through this round and I'll just keep my whole last two I still think I'm going to win the fight mm -hmm. so uh, but mm -hmm. okay, it happens but then I I, so for Gone forward after your boxing, what do you see yourself doing then? Well, sure, I done that. I had the managing promoting thing, didn't mm -hmm. I? I had a few, I had a few fighters, but just didn't work out. Yeah, so just, just knowing your passion nah, for it. Yeah, do something right. I'm, I'm busy the best at the, the business side of things. I still treated everybody. I've like still a pal. Like, like a fighter, and, and you try to kind of compensate a lot of things and put your own your own pocket, and I've just. I mm -hmm. just couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Not I mean? so we'll do that for so long. Just, so. What are you gonna do then? If you fought that far ahead, nah. So, Does it make you nervous thinking about right, uh, uh, my time could no, drop? I, I used to think about it when I was like 31, 32, <laughs> like 32, <laughs> You're probably <laughs> still fighting at fucking 50. No. I reckon I've got an hour you left. I think I've got five fights. Five oh, fights. no, I think you've got more than that. If you're training three times, uh, you have got a glow on you about you. Uh, no, see, you have... I feel uh, I'm... Oh Mick the day, sorry Mick, don't like call him old Mick. Mick Murphy the day says, <laughs> young Mick Murphy the day says to me, he went, looking good, man, the best I've seen you for if you've joined us, Jamie mm -hmm. went, that's the best I've seen you. Mm -hmm. I'm going, good. So we've so seen you here. And Mick doesn't mince his words. Mm -hmm. See if you want crap, we go, what are you doing? Aye. <laughs> you it's terrible. time to fucking wrap it up. So, so that's, it's a good uh -huh. thing that I've got guys like that in my corner who they, they don't mess up, they don't mess up words, they don't mess about. If, if they think, I spelled a boy, I'll be honest, I spelled, I was training for the last fight, I spelled a boy, Dean, Dean Sullivan, boy for Dundee, and a boy schooled me, took me to school. So mm -hmm. did I mean, I just could not let go. I couldn't hit this guy with a horn for a gravel. He was just catching my left, right, and centre. And left, I, I went, I said, I've never been like, well, it's more time to call it a day. And he went, well, you've only let for two days. He says, you're struggling with it. He went, how do you expect to perform? And it's just wee things like that you forget about. Energy levels. But I went in there with a, a young boy's up and coming, and the boy's a cracker. But mm -hmm. he schooled me. Do you know what I mean? I'm going, ah, that's just spam, that harms. Mm -hmm. So it does, but I schooled us. But so, I should give you like, that'll just go for it. Just it. That's what they think. See back today, right? See back today where you're you can free white one every minute, every round. See mm -hmm. you now, I use spa for certain things. There's times I'll go in spa and I'll use it for defence. Mm -hmm. I'll hardly throw any points. There's times I'll go in there, I'll, I'll use it for attack. There's times I will use it just I use it. I, I don't mind. I don't care if I don't win the spars now. On the right, on the Does right. that come into training for your coach to tell you what days to do that? I, no, I, I or just do, do that, that yourself. yourself. What I, you need I, to I, learn, sharpen I've up. Been here long enough to, to know what, what I need to do. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Lawrence and Mike, they, they know that. But if I'm doing something wrong, I either write my case and go, uh -huh. right, I think you should do this. There's times, and that I tell us about that boy, I'm biting Lawrence and going, what are you doing? I'm going, huh? I'm not in there. I've nothing there. Mm -hmm. No, so he's, he's, he's trying to get out of the way. I'm walking to the phone. I need his in. Anyway, let's do it. How do you, how much do you actually slow down between the ages of thirty and forty? Is there a difference? Well, right. Well, I'm still doing seven minute miles, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, I mean I. I what, what, again, I'm going to be honest. 
I'm still doing what I'm still doing my day in the gym. I'm just I'm feeling a bit more after it. Mm -hmm. But come the next day, I'm ready to go again. The recovery. My recovery's always been amazing. So I was, I've always had a brilliant recovery. I mark up dead easy, but I heal dead quick. And it's the same when I train hard, but when I'm burnt out. The next round, I'm ready to go again. I've mm -hmm. also had a right good engine that way, do you know what I mean? Aye, good, because I, I, I talked to a couple of, what was it, Joe Ham? Aye, Joe, Joe aye. Joe, aye. Joe coming up. Aye, no, Joe Senior's a great guy, I speak to you, the old aye. boy. Um, aye, and he's, he's got a fight coming up soon, I think. Um, See, there's a lot of good boys, there's a lot of good boys, and they, they were in the Commonwealth Games, done Bronte, and I just kind of, so, so it's the time for him to start grabbing things as new, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And hopefully the boys can do it. I like Joe and like old Joe as well. Two, oh, two great guys, guys man. I speak to them. Either. Good luck to them. So, we've spoken about everything for the future. Going forward, we have no still says it, but who's your ideal fight for you to try and get it done? Ricky Burns? Is that right. who you're, you're mentioning? I would love to fight. No, no, it's a very hard fight, but you know what? It's a money fight. It's a money fight. I don't know if Ricky's got planned. I don't know if he's getting put. It's kind of mm. slowed down a wee bit. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, so if he's looking for somebody just to keep ticking there, then I'm his man. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I said, I've got hundreds of respect, respect for Ricky. He's, he's a he's a hard hard man. Mm -hmm. so and a, a, gen a gentleman. He's Ricky's one of the hardest trainers. Mm -hmm. So as I mean, he's been in, he's fought some world class fighters as well, mm -hmm. and he's went to twelve. He's I mean, his durability is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? He trains hard. He lives a life. He's got what he's got through absolute hard work and merit, do you know what I mean? Right. So fair play him, but of course, listen, I'm, there's nobody, see if I make cameras on the phone, the more I'm mad, jump at the chance. Mm -hmm. MDs, I would love to fight any one of the top boys. Mm -hmm. So I would, you've got the young boys coming through the new, maybe like the corner Benz that, they're good fighters, mm -hmm. Nigel Benz boy, I mean, they fake kind of fight, I love these kind of fights. Would you I, think, uh, thriving they fights, that's what I need. Eubanks boy, he's a since, he, since he's got his trainer, because his last fight, he looked phenomenal. He's, I mean, his dad on a speech, I was, I was up at the, his dad on why they, they dinner things and he, he still looks in some nick, so mm -hmm. I think he's fair, I think they look after themselves, that do you know what I mean, and it's, and it's, it's a big part of the game, looking after yourself, mm -hmm. outside the ring as well, and I think the boys are, are him. How yeah. hard is it, because the boys, the Scottish boys who are fighting 10, 20 years ago are still fighting to this day, is it difficult to fucking I'm chuck worried, it, is I'm it, is, is it difficult? I, I, I think it's only Scott Harris myself, it's left to your era, because you had like Craig Dockery, right? Craig, boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Craig's brilliant. So said Craig Dockery, he had Arthur. The, saying that Ricky Burns well, but he was kind of he turned pro just uh, a, a few, few years after. Years years he was turned pro for nineteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So it was, but fuck, I know, I know. So no, it's not this. No, don't don't the wedding that out, mate. So you're not. That's the nineties of two thousand. That's the three decades. Three generations. That's class, isn't it? So we've been doing that, but. Well, I think it's just kind of. like I just think it's in your blood to fight. Just fucking love it. I don't know. I just. No, I always present myself with challenges. Mm -hmm. see, 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 if I'm not, see, see if I'm not training, I, I'm a different person. I need to be in the gym all the uh -huh. time. If I'm not training, I do my PTs now as well. I do my one to ones. Mm -hmm. How can people get involved in that? Through my Facebook as well. Right. People get in contact with my Facebook. Uh, I do them. I'm getting quite busy with them. So it's good that even if I've not got a fight coming up, I need to be in the gym for them. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I get a, you know, see somebody developing a bit, uh -huh. I get a buzz through that uh -huh. day. Do you know what I mean? But, of course. Obviously, it's not the same as the fight game. I'm not going to lie and go, oh, it's great, it's good. <laughs> but my, my, my passion is when I'm, I'm in there, mm -hmm. when you've had an eight or ten week training camp, so is your opponent, you go, right, well, let's see who's the best here. Do you feel alive in the ring? Is that what you feel? Do they, huh? Does it take, is it like a bit of escapism to be in that <laughs> ring and to just there See yourself? The ring, you know who you're up against. Mm -hmm. See, you know, doing the promoting thing, that there was so many side things hitting you and it was it was harder, but, but when I'm in the ring, I'm fit, I'm ready to fight, so the guy across me, mm -hmm. and as I say, it's right, let's well, use the best. Uh -huh. There's times you come out, after the crawl fight, I remember coming out in a dress room, nobody was there, it was empty, it's, it was like, you know, and it just kind of, it's, it's, a, it's a reality check, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? I'm not saying people, it's just, a lot of people think it's today, mm -hmm. things are happening, but remember after a while of fights, I came out, walked to the dress room, I took my soaps off, and it was full of blood. So, was, and there's like 20 people in the room, oh, what's that? It's just all the soles of my feet were all blisters. I've actually burst open, kind of thing. Because cause I'm an idiot, I put new boots on and didn't break them in for mm -hmm. a fight. That was one of my other ones. Do you know what I mean? Things like that. But it's just that's just the way the game goes, isn't it? How difficult is, after a loss, how how long do you hit a low for? How is, that, is it a long time, or do you try and snap out it as quickly as possible? It's, it's, I'll be honest, it's hard to snap out it. Mm -hmm. It takes a wee bit. Do you know what I mean? Everyone goes through your head. Even after I win, you're, you're high, then after I win, both, 
because one minute you're, you've got routine, good routine, you're training, you're in a, in a gym with all your pals. What do you mean your pals? I mean your gym, your fighting pals. See the guys mm -hmm. that's going through the same thing as you? It's a, it's, a, it's a different kind of, you've got your pals outside, you've got your, your pals, there are pro fighters, and everybody's in the same, you're in the same trenches kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I know it sounds a bit extreme, but oh, it has. There's times, mm -hmm. times a fight where you want to chuck it. Oh, right? You want to, you want to, I mean, I fought Mitch Prince, Mitch Prince, on paper, it should be an easy fight. It was one of the hardest fights I've had. So I was, and after the fight, I remember spewing red stuff. Just spewing peat. And Max, you two's done, the two's done the, this is funny. I'm actually good, a very good pals, Max, do right? He's always the phone sending mad through that. And what's up? Crazy, what a crazy boy he is. <laughs> so I was sitting there with the, the drug test. And you, the two's are peed at blood. You, you, you peed at blood. And, and that was the first time, it's happened to me, but I was And I see Max, he's going, what's that? I was going like that. Which that's, that's because I've hit with a few heavy kidney shots. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the same. It's just, it's what you put your body through. Is you that what I'm saying? I pee blood for a... Man, maybe that don't scare the shit out of you. You used to it. It's just your body. It's just your... I don't know, is it your kidney just clearing mm. them out kind of thing? But I... You, I mean, see, you're doing it the way. You have nothing on you. You have no fat, so you feel everything kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I... You, you, you piss blood for... <laughs> <laughs> My two boys, you see me there, and they're going like that. So if the, one of the times they go, what is it today, that? What is it after this one, does it? Right, like, coming out again. Because uh -huh. they obviously don't see you doing the uh -huh. test, but they see the colour when you're pulling it into the wee. What age are your boys? Jake's 15 and Drew's 13. Do so you get nervous when they get into the ring? Aye, I did. Drew, Drew and Jake, aye, the two of them said, <clears throat> the, the, two, the two will beat the last fight in the Scottish final, so they did. Mm. Close fights, so they were not even could have went either way, but. This is all it is, this is, this is, it might be good for him to get uh -huh. a wee defeat. Part of the Drew's, game, Drew's only had one defeat, he's, mm -hmm. he's good. Jake's had a couple, but Jake threw that one away. I was kind of winding up for it. He, mm -hmm. he body slams opponent and got points to the calf. So oh, what, did he? That's, that's, what, that's what cost him a fight. You're joking? No. <laughs> so you take up wrestling, maybe? Says, Jake, what are you doing, man? And he's, he's asked me, it was, it, was after, it was the day before the Gale Eubank fight, and he went, the Gale done that to Eubank, or Eubank done that to the Gale, he didn't get a point to the calf, I went, oh, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but you must be proud of them then. Aye, they're doing well. My wee last is heavily involved in the gymnastics, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. She's up at the gym all day, she's got the gloves on now as well. I'm going, Oh no. Here we go. What age is she? She's me, Macy's she's four. <laughs> four year old, I know. Mental. I'm a joke, I'm going at myself. So the two boys, uh, no, but they're, they're, they're boys, they're turning to men, you mm -hmm. can accept they're going to get punched. Aye. I'm not my ass, going to do that. Oh no. Do you know what I mean? Baby, and she's actually no bad. Uh -huh. Here we go, man. I know, I can hit my wee daughter's nine and... Oh, <laughs> well, that's tough, mate. But, eh, uh, Willie boy, for coming on today, mate, and telling your story, it's been brilliant, man. Hey, boy, and, eh, uh, anybody that's want to get involved, check out his Facebook, PTs, even get tickets for the next fight. Great guy, support your own, and well, absolute pleasure. If you anything else you want to no, finish up on... I'm just pleased to come on here, aye. mate, and, and just say my bit, do you know what I mean? I know, that's it's great, I'm, mate. It's been, it's been good. So it's aye. nice, aye. Enjoy that's all right, isn't it? Superb man. That's your career on the rise, mate. You know, here first. That's it, man. Just bring another belt in here, we'll get that spoke about. Oh, so I have to the next fight. Definitely, mate. Because there's still more so, studio. I don't want to see the morning one. Ah, you know I know, mate. I know. <laughs> Just reel that in, isn't it? Um, oh. But absolute pleasure, mate. And you, mate. I wish you all the best for the future. Thanks, and mate. Aye, and you're coming right. fights, mate. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. All right.